There's a face missing from this Death Row Records picture. Vanilla Ice. What? If it wasn't for Vanilla Ice, would there be Snoop Doggy Dog or Death Row Records? There's no denying that Robert Van Winkle has cemented his name in hip-hop history. Word to your mother and the people who try to hold me down, kiss my white butt. His debut single, Ice Ice Baby, hit the number one spot on the Billboard charts to become hip-hop's first ever number one record. We were selling a million records a day. Now this is where the trouble started. <laughs> one evening, Vanilla Ice and his bodyguards entered their suite in the Beverly Hills Hotel to find a large group of men led by Marion Suge Knight. Van Winkle describes a terrifying night. Suge explained that he was there to collect for his artist, Mario Johnson, who he claims co-wrote Ice Ice Baby with Vanilla Ice. It had nothing to do with that song. So the story goes, Suge took me out on the balcony. He had me look over the edge. I needed to wear a diaper on that day. Van Winkle says Suge Knight told him to sign over points from the song. That's not true. You signed over the rights? Signed over the rights to him. Money which he allegedly used to start Death Row Records. 